you put Nick Felino on the top line with Bedard and Teravainen, and immediately it changed. And I think that's that can be something that can be a little bit of an of an identity group because you have th- you have three guys that know how to work together to fit their roles. Teravainen and Bedard work off of each other. You're the you're you're the producers. Nick Felino is going to be the guy that's going to go into corners, win board battles. And you know that he can do it. Mm-hmm. Mikheyev, on the you know, if he switches to the third line in Felino's spot, then you have speed with Dickinson and Mikheyev. You have Joey Anderson there, like three Ooh. three guys that really can all go into corner. Like they're th- that's still yeah. an identity line. And I think that the the way that Bedard and Felino worked together last year, which I talk about an odd couple, you know, if if you would have thought when Felino was here, oh yeah, he's going to be paired with Bedard and he's going to work really well with him. You wouldn't have thought that at all, but it's actually worked. The times that they were paired together last year, it worked. Today, it, you know, late in the game, it kind of turned things, you know, in that in that late second period into the third period. Um, so I, I think establishing an identity with maybe even starting with groups and pairs of guys together defensively and in forwards group that you know have worked together, that's a way to go. I, I, I feel like this team might be at a spot where it's just like, let's just let's just see what, what we know works right now and then tinker around the edges and, and see what we can do rather than just kind of throwing everything into a mixing pot and say, go have an identity, guys. Like, go go figure it out. Like, you might have just have to work with the guys that have been here yeah. and go from there. Your point about Felino is interesting because you're right. He's not the kind of guy that you would imagine would work well with Bedard, but what Felino has... And I, this is not a knock on anybody. This is not a knock on Mikheyev. It's not a knock on Bertuzzi. Nick Felino is established. Nick Felino knows what he is. He's comfortable with what he is. He's not worried about his next contract. He's not worried about putting up points and numbers. He is going to do 100% of the time the right thing. Maybe it won't work. Maybe he'll whiff on a puck. Maybe his stick will break. Things will happen where it won't be 100% successful. But you know that Nick Foligno is going to do the right thing for the team at the time, all the time. And again, I don't want to say I'm I'm saying that Mikheyev and Bertuzzi or whoever else you want to throw on that other wing spot with Bedard and Tavo wouldn't do it. But you just know that that is Foligno's number one priority right. is get these two the puck. Because when those two have the puck, magical things happen. Yeah. And, and he happen. knows and he can do it. And like he also, I think... Because of his age, because of his self-deprecating style, we have a little bit diminished the skill that Nick Felino has. Nick Felino is an all-star. Nick Felino has played on lines with really, really good NHL players on really, really good NHL teams. He's no schlub. Nick Felino is a good hockey player that can play and I don't want to say thrive, but can succeed in any role you give him. And I do think putting him there and then moving Mikheyev down to that third slot, what that also does is it helps you distribute your offense a little bit better. You're not so top heavy. And maybe Felino is a better goal scorer than Mikheyev, like on paper or whatever. But in terms of game style, I think you throw a little more offense potential with Mikheyev on the third line, have Felino do the dirty work on the top line. I just think it falls much better that way. Yeah. It just it makes a lot more sense. And again, this is for now. If they want to start working on these new line combos and practice and figure it out, great. But you've separated Alex Vlasic and Connor and Seth Jones. Mm-hmm. Why? We all silly like the mayor. 